Let me just give you some numbers to put in perspective. 465,000 are the number of abortion cases procured in the country. 300,000 were done, uh, or rather, of these people came for, to seek help in public hospitals. 266 deaths in every 100,000 abortion cases. Nyanza, Western, and Rift Valley are leading in these cases. To just help us paint a clearer picture is Dr. Elizabeth Kimani, who joined me now in studio from APHCR, right? APHRC. APHRC. Yes. Dr. Kimani, these numbers are too high, uh, 2012 alone. What do you attribute this kind of rise in numbers to? Um, generally, we are saying that there is um, a high level of unmet need for family planning. Right. We have a, a num high numbers, high numbers of of people of mm. un, uh, of of um, unintended pregnancies. Like, for right. example, in Kenya, according right. to the 2003, uh, 2008 uh, Kenya Demographic and Health Survey, right. we have 43 percent of births were unintended, mm -hmm. which means almost a half of, of births are actually unintended. So we, we are talking of family planning. People may not have ac access to effective family planning or right. the right um, information about family planning. Dr. Kimani, 64% of these people are actually married, which means we are now moving away from the school girl who is trying to procure an abortion from a back street co uh, clinic to uh, married people who are saying, hey, I'm not ready for this child. Is that probably a trigger that maybe we should start conversations about legalizing this? Um, about legal issues, I'm, I may not be the best person. I'm not a, a, a constitutional right, lawyer. Right. But what we are saying is that we need to actually at least prevent the unintended pregnancies. Right. And f to prevent unintended pregnancies, we are talking about family planning. We're mm -hmm. giving people the information and access to these effective family planning mm -hmm. methods. Doctor, we are seeing a uh, rise in the number. The numbers are highest in Nyanza, Western, and Rift Valley. What is the cause of such? Um, we need to do more research to actually understand why is, is it the case that Rift Valley, Nyanza, and Western Province lead in this. Right. But uh, from what has been done, mm -hmm. uh, from, like, for, from, the, from the KDHS report 2008, we find, we, we find that these regions also have um, high levels of unmet need for family planning right. and issues of they, 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 they have lower contraceptive use and right. uh, the discrepancy between wanted fertility and and total fertility is very high for these regions, especially the highest is in western region, okay. uh, the, the discrepancy between wanted fertility and, and the total fertility. Mm -hmm. So uh, th this, those could be some of the reasons, but the, the underlying reasons for why this is the case, like in terms of why like they have high level of un unmet need for family planning. Right. We, we need to do more research to understand why. But our research, we didn't go into the details of establishing why those were the cases. Doctor, you also mentioned in your report severe complications, especially relating to people between the age of 10 and 19. How prevalent are these cases, especially for this age group in the country right now? Uh, the severity? Yes. Uh, from the study we did, we found that amongst the amongst, uh, uh, girls aged less than 19 years and below mm -hmm. who, 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 rep who, came, who sought care for yes. post-abortion care at the health facilities, uh, we found that 45% of them experienced severe complications due to unsafe abortion. Right. Yes. Dr. Ari, final question. What is the way forward? How do we reduce these numbers going forward without going into the legal aspect of it? Without without going into the legal aspect of it mm -hmm. because uh, we we are talking about family uh, first we are talking about educating women right. about their rights right. to family planning and educating them how to access family planning effective family planning methods of their choice right. and about their uh, reproductive health rights. Right. And also we are talking about improving uh, care, post-abortion care, and also um, improving safe abortion care. Because we are also talking in the, within the constitution, we know that um, abortion is also uh, uh, permitted under certain conditions. Right. So we want the, the, the organizations that are mandated to take care of um, maternal health, women's health, to be, to, be, to be empowered, to be enabled, to be given an enab enab enabling environment to right. be able to do that. All to right. Yeah. All right, Dr. Uh, Elizabeth Kimani Asante Sana for coming to the news desk. And she's been giving us and breaking down the numbers in regards to abortion cases. You can catch details of that story on our official website, www.standardmedia.co.ke.